Laser bed, DIY or buy? According to me, there are three main reasons why I should want to use a laser bed when cutting stuff with a laser. Number one, you want to make sure your materials are flat. If you are cutting plywood that bends two or three millimeters, your laser's ability to cut will decrease a lot. Number two, you want a bit of ventilation on the backside of the things you are cutting. This will make sure things you are cutting are not burnt on the backside. Number three, you don't want pieces to fall down and move so that the laser will ruin them when passing them when cutting other pieces. With these three conditions in mind, I'm going to use a DIY laser bed and compare it to this Diwali laser bed. Links to all products can be found in the description of the video. We have seen many complex solutions for DIY laser beds, but a very easy option is to simply cut it from plywood. And by using a very precise laser, you can create a flat fundament for your laser bed. The template for these files will be in the description. There you will also find links to other products we used in this video. We are cutting it on the Xtool D1. As mentioned, the main purpose of the laser bed is to add space between the material and whatever is underneath, so the workpiece doesn't get burnt and dirty when cutting. If you have an air assist, this space will increase the effectiveness and will help the air and burnt materials escape more easily. If you mostly do engraving, the laser bed will still be helpful, as it helps you to hold your workpiece flat. Most lasers have a short focus area of only a few millimeters in height. Like all others, we have also been new to lasers, and in the beginning we used a sacrifice board under the workpiece and a few stacks of coins to raise the material from the sacrifice board. Since a stack of money is wiggly, we cut some simple crosses, which was a big improvement. Quite early we switched out the sacrifice board with an aluminum plate. This helped a lot with the amount of smoke since the sacrifice board was always getting engraved as well. And then we have an everlasting underlay. The first bed we made was a square bed, cut from plywood that worked really well, but had one big drawback. Small pieces that we cut often fell through and were in danger of getting burnt from the other cuts. So we needed a bed with smaller gaps. After many different approaches, we found that an aluminum mesh commonly used on car grills worked well. Madethebest.com sent us this Diwali honeycomb laser bed. This was actually a huge improvement as it fits all our previous mentioned requirements. It's flat and with pegs it can force materials to remain flat while cutting. It lifts the material off the ground, allowing air to flow and leaves much cleaner pieces. Small pieces cut will not fall down. The bed has a honeycomb recess designed to prevent laser reflection from damaging the laser during operation and the honeycomb working table comes with an aluminum plate which prevents the laser from damaging your desk. So back to the question, make or buy, is it worth spending money on? There are some advantages to DIY build. It's a bit cheaper and you can customize the size. But in my mind there are even more reasons why you just buy a laser bed. Perhaps most important is how easy it is to keep the material flat. Since we work a lot with plywood, this is important for us. So DIY or buy? We say buy for this one.